Hello everyone, welcome back to a brand new episode of Harry Built a Nap, React Native Edition. September, the first, the best, the only, so far, edition of me making applications. Today's episode, presented by me, is the camera screen, the meat and potatoes of the entire application. I'm afraid, because this is some uncharted territory, so if you see me mumbling a lot, fair warning ahead of time. Enough of me rambling, let's get coding. First thing that I wanna do is make a nice simple project. We're gonna call this um, project one over here uh, because I want to be able to have this be the default one that I'm using around. Uh, where is my router? So I can do that here. On the project screen, it's being passed in. Okay, I actually have no reference to the project at all. So I want to that be the active project. So what I'm going to have there be is we're going to have a new uh, get project. Actually, let me just copy and paste this. Oh, I want to select your projects. Uh, selectors, uh, get project, create selector. Just copy and paste that. And we're going to have this taking an argument, uh, get project, project name is a string. We want to return filter p, let's say p dot title equals project name. And then this should return a project. Actually, I don't really need that right now. I don't know why I did that, but it was fun to do anyways. Uh, let's go back to here. We're going to call this project one. So now we have a screen to show, right? Great. Cool. So what I want to do is when somebody clicks on an icon, I actually want to show the camera screen. And we're going to do that in a modal uh, because that's what I expect a camera screen to be. But first things first, I actually need to create a camera screen file screen.tsx and I'm going to copy and paste just for sake of brevity let's go back here let's go to the top I'm gonna to call this uh, camera screen I'm not really sure what it's rendering yet uh, for now we're just gonna render a view so let's actually delete all this stuff I have it be a view and it's just gonna have text that says IR camera don't worry about all this other stuff here. Delete y'all. Delete y'all. I'm just going to do a group for now. Um, interface. I'm not really sure if I need all these either. Okay, cool. So I have the camera screen, and I have to go back to my router, and we're actually going to have there be a camera screen as well. Screen. Screen. So there's a new route config that I can go to, just like that. And this is actually gonna be in the top stack navigator because it's one that you can be navigated to anywhere. And for that, we're gonna uh, do uh, route config dot, route config dot camera screen. There's the camera screen. Yes, please do import it for me. Gotta love VS code. And that is again a modal as well. Sweet, so that's working. And now I want that to show when somebody clicks on an item. So if I go back to my project screen, I have here a handler on day press, selected day, and I want to uh, props, no point, navigator, navigation equals this dot props. And then what I want it to be is navigation, uh, blah, blah, blah. If I go to the project list screen, what am I doing for Navigate. So I want to do navigate. So I don't know what this is. Doesn't know what this is. Because I have nothing there. So project list screen is something from navigation screen props. Uh, cha 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 cha. Like that. Like Let's actually say that this is a props. So now it should go. I want to go to route config. 
camera screen. <clears throat> Let's save that. So now that when you have a day press, it should open up the camera screen in a modal. So if I click this, it does. Awesome. I'm stuck here. Okay, I have to refresh the page. Um, so when you open this up, you can't see anything because iPhone 10 is stupid. And I actually have to copy what I'm doing from the uh, create project page. And I'm using this component that's built into uh, React navigation, actually, I guess, called safe area view. And that pretty much adds the default padding that I need with I'm having an iPhone 10 screen. So let's grab this, go back to my camera screen. So this being a view, we're gonna have it be a safe area view, which is coming, I can just let this do it for me. So now if I save this, and now if I try this out, it's nice and padded. Look at that, how lovely. Uh, I need a close button because this is getting ridiculous. Button, I need a title, just close. And on press, this is going to Call this props navigation. Okay, yeah, it has to extend from that again. Thank you. Thank you very much. This props navigation. Go back. Oops. Uh, this has to be imported as well. Cool. So let's refresh that. So now. If I open up the thing, I can now close it, and look at that. How very lovely. It makes for a nice, happy life. But that's not why you're here, or why I'm here. I'm here to actually have there be a camera. So let me go back to my README, where I have everything nicely told, and I can use the camera component from Expo. And there's all this lovely stuff where I have to actually ask for permissions. So let me actually just do some nice copy pasting here because no good developer worth their salt no, doesn't know how to do copy and paste coding. I can do a lovely little import all, add all missing imports. God, it's so good. Um, so ask for permissions. Oh, this is not going to work on the simulator because simulators don't have access to the camera. That's right, so this might be a hard episode to do. Yes, good. But now, I can actually copy and paste. So let's do, uh, that's equals null. So I just wanna copy and paste these first couple of lines because If it has no permissions, do nothing. If it has no access to camera, this also has to be in a safe view area because everything has to be safe, safe, safe. Okay. Otherwise, we can render the camera. Uh, style equals flex one. Does this still look like a thing? So it looks like a thing. And actually just to save me some time, I actually have this initial screen be a camera screen. <laughs> so now it goes straight to that. Oh, duh. Uh, has to be on the root because that's where that screen is defined. Good, 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 good. And then I'm gonna go back here, do some more copy and pasting of all this fun stuff. So I can go back to my code, go to the camera screen, by our camera indeed. Let's save all that. Gotta do some imports. All the same imports, save it. Cool, so that's the camera that you can't really see. However, if I load it up on my phone, you should be able to see it. So I'll go to projects. So it's loading up. You can see this is asking for permissions. If I hit allow, look at that, it's my hand. Oh, oh, it's Inception. That is really crazy, because it's a camera. And if I flip it, flip out. There's you, you as a camera. <laughs> 
Uh, that's the camera, so that's working. Uh, I need to save it when I do and take a picture so that I can then save it on um, the project. Let's think about that for a second. This is all working. This is all like pseudo code. I don't really care about this as much. I'm gonna style it later. That's the camera type, front or back. Let's go back to my README and flip front or back camera. I got that working for free. Uh, closed camera, I have that for free. I'm not really, I made that myself. So I have to do uh, take photo. I'm not gonna worry about the preview right now because that'll be some nice polish later, but I actually wanna be able to take the photo and save it. So let's think how that can be done. Uh, if I go back to the documentation and there should be something here about how to take picture async. Here we go. So I got a reference to the camera. Don't you love copy and paste encoding? It is literally my favorite thing to do. Let's add that ref. It's a camera. Yeah, I know it hasn't any type. How can I help you? Uh, cam? Cam? Does that work? It's not assignable to type this string. Uh, what? Let's see if I can actually just take a photo because that's really what I care about. I'm going to say take photo. Uh, I'll put this here. Actually, this is going to be did mount because that's the better way of doing things. I can take a photo. And once I take a photo, I get your eye width height this. So I'm just gonna copy and paste this. And what I can do, uh, photo. Oh, that is cool. And I actually want to copy async to make a permanent copy of this image. Um, that's going to be a little bit tricky to do, but in any case, if I save that, open up my phone again. Oh, I have to actually take a picture. I need a button for that. I say take photo and this is going to be snap, crackle, pop. So now if I do take photo, I guess I took a photo, but there's no way for me to know. Um, Actually, let's do this. Let's say uh, URI, and um, we're just gonna have this in local state for the preview. Um, uh, preview URI is null, or actually undefined. And this is going to be in here. So once we take a photo, I wanna show a preview for now, just to see that it's actually working uh, like that. And then, uh, if we have a preview, we want to show that instead. So uh, if uh, this state preview URI, we want to copy and paste this. And I actually want this to be a image. And the, oh my God, look at these options. Uh, source. So URI is this state preview URI. So if I save that, let's flip this. So if I take the photo, nothing, nothing at all. Uh, state preview URI, this set state preview URI, photo URI. Uh, take photo. say photo taken. So I'm not even sure if it's hitting this method right now. So take photo. Nope, it's not hitting that method. So that's good. On press this dot snap. Go back to this. Oh, it is there. Oh, okay. Just took a long ass time. Save that. I saw it happen on my phone. You didn't see it, but I saw it. If I, if I do, uh, take photo. Photo taken. Cool. So it's there. However, it's not really doing anything else with it. Um, a lot of stuff to do. 
but we got the photo there. I'm not gonna really bore you with all the Denegar details because I have to really plug away at this. This is gonna take me some time. But uh, I'll definitely give you an overview of what happens after it's done. But I'm not really gonna waste your time seeing me kind of like fiddle with this because it's gonna take me way too long for that. But hopefully uh, you saw how easy it is to copy and paste code and get things mostly working. Definitely a lot of things I need to figure out before I have this in a working state, but eh, it was fun to show you along the way. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Sorry I didn't get to show you the big reveal at the end, but I'll do that when I get closer to the end of it. And uh, if you like what you're seeing right now, do become a subscriber so I can show you more things as well. And I'll catch you on the next episode uh, when I'm probably going to do a lot of things offline because a lot of like final details I need to figure out myself. But I'll catch you then, and I'll see you next time. Boy, that was a bad sound. Is that good or there we go. Bye.